<laughs> Don't you think he might be a little young for that? <laughs> it is never too early to learn about love. Especially when his role models are uh, leaving a lot to be desired. Oof. What does that mean? <laughs> never mind. Can I get you something to eat? No, I already had pancakes with Grandpa Clint. You two have breakfast together? Yeah, he invited me over. And he even gave me some stuff for our class. These are for doing ink drawings. Cool. You know, your dad's always bragging about how good you are in art. Is he back yet? Not yet. He's still in Rio. Why do you think he went down there? It's because of Mom, right? Brazil's very own Minuteman. The Motel de Mundo, actually. It's not so bad. Well, that's just because you're used to the Minuteman. Well, if you'd like to check out and go someplace else, I'm fine. No, there's only one thing I'm going to do right now. I have to call Shane. What did your dad tell you? All I know is that he lied to me. He said that he went down there to help find Liam. And I don't think he would have lied to me unless... Guess who? Hey, Dad. I'd ask if you found Liam, but I guess you didn't because I'm staring right at him. Shane, look, I am so sorry. I should have told you the truth about why I had to go to Brazil. Yeah, you think? I just didn't want you to get upset. This is about Mom, isn't it? There's still some questions that need answers, but this should not take much longer. Can you just cut me some slack for another couple days? I guess. Come on, I'm sure Roxy's ordering pizza like every night. It can't be that bad. It's okay. Save me a couple slices. I'll tell you about my trip as soon as I get back. Okay. I love you, buddy. Love you, too. And Dad? Yeah. I hope you found what you're looking for this time. Me, too. You okay? Shane knows I'm still chasing after Gigi. He's got to be wondering how psycho I am. You're probably just still freaked out from that dream you had. No, it wasn't a dream, Aubrey. It was a memory. Of what? Finding Gigi dead. Try not to be too angry at your dad. He's just having a really hard time letting go. I know. But whatever he's doing in Brazil, it's not going to bring Mom back, and it's not going to make Jack pay for what he did to her. And that's all I care about. What the hell? There. You feeling better? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. No, hey, nothing to be sorry about. I'm just glad you're feeling better now. Do you want to talk about it? I was, um, I was, I was stuck in this basement somewhere. Um, I was, I was yelling for help and and no one answered, and when I tried to get out, the door was locked. It was just getting harder and harder to breathe. Stacy, that wasn't a dream. What do you mean? That really happened to you. Sounds like you're starting to get your memory back. It's like reliving it all over again. Breaking into that basement. Seeing Gigi there, she wasn't breathing. I kept saying her name. Don't go back there, Rex. 
Yeah, we were supposed to get married. I knew something bad had to have happened when she didn't show. That's the only thing that could keep her away. Jack Manning. He went online, pretending to be this girl, inviting Shane to this party. Gigi found out and went in Shane's place. Then got trapped. There was this broken generator and it was leaking carbon monoxide. By the time I got there, it was already too late. It really happened? Yeah, not just you. Your sister Gigi was in the basement, too. She ended up dying of uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, but you made it. How? Kim took you someplace safe. You don't remember any of this? Now that I'm awake, no. What were we doing in this basement? I don't really know exactly. I think you were following Gigi to take her place. Every time you say that, it just sounds crazier and crazier. Uh, that's why you had the surgery. You know, Gigi was with the man you wanted, so you figured out a way to look exactly like her. I know. It's just... How could I do that to my own sister? I need to get my old face back and as soon as possible. You will. If Rex had seen me looking like Gigi back from the dead, I, I swear to God, I never would have forgiven myself. Hey, relax, relax. You don't need to worry about that now. Rex and Aubrey are long gone. I'm sorry you had to remember all that. No. Please, I'm sorry. It must have scared the hell out of you grabbing you like that. I knew you weren't going to hurt me. That's the last thing I'd want to do after everything you've done for me. What have I done? We haven't found what we came here for. You've had my back. The whole way. Aubrey, I'd be lost down here without you. All this time, and Jack's never admitted what he did to my mom. Is that why you pulled a gun on him? To try to get him to admit it? Yeah, that was step one. Step two is making sure he gets punished. Honey, no, Shane, that is not your job. Well, someone has to do it, don't you see? And I owe it to my mom. I don't know about that. But what I do know is I need you to promise me no more guns, okay? No more violence. I overheard the- Shane, do not whatever me. I need you to promise me, okay? No more guns. Okay, no guns. That was stupid. Yeah, well, I'm glad you recognize that. Yeah, I do. But do you know how hard it is seeing Jack at school every day, hanging out with his friends, pretending that everything's fine? My mom is dead because of him. That's not fine. Yeah, you're right. Is Jack still harassing you at school? No. He pretty much just leaves me alone. So do his friends. Everybody pretty much does. But they also think I'm a geek. Yeah, well, you know what Roxy says about geeks. Geeks shall inherit the earth. <laughs> I still think I'd rather be cool. Honey, you are cool. And Liam and I both agree on that, right, Liam? Right? Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you were saying to him before about loving and forgiving? Yeah, what about him? It sounds like something my mom would say. I think she might even want me to forgive Jack. So why don't you? I don't know. But I can't. And I never will. Are you really sure that Rex and Aubrey are gone? Why would they stick around? My long-lost mother actually managed to convince them that she was the woman they were looking for. The one Rex thought was Gigi. Yeah, and I still can't believe you bought that. Never underestimate the power of Alex Olenoff. Well, I guess it's a good thing I stopped you from killing her. I only did it because of you. Never thought I'd be happy to see my mom, but uh, if we hadn't run into Alex, Rex would be onto us for sure. Uh, I'm gonna jump in the shower. I want to get back to that plastic surgeon's office. But what if Cutter talked his fake Gigi into going to a different surgeon? Why would he do that? So he wouldn't get caught by you. No, wait, Cutter thinks that I bought that crazy story from Alex Alanov, and that's just what I want him to think. So you let your mom help you pull off the scam, but you're not quite ready to forgive her yet. Forgive her? I just spent all night reading about that woman. 
Leaving me and Aubrey and stealing my dad's money and driving him to suicide is the least of her crimes. She has pulled more cons and wrecked more lives than anyone you'll ever know. I'm sorry. You deserve better. No, I deserve exactly what I got. Now I know why I've been conning people my whole life. I am my mother's son. That's not true. Please, not even the most genius surgeon can make Alex Olenov look like Gigi. So we know that Cutter has to be hiding that woman I saw back in Landview. Today's the day I find her. Call your mother, please. For a relationship, and neither am I. We're just friends, that's it. Watching Alex Conrax was like looking in a mirror. Done the same thing a hundred times. You've done other things, too. Good things. Like what? Helping me change. Letting me find out whoever it is I'm supposed to be. Yeah, after I tried to pass you off as someone's dead fiancé. Yeah, but you stopped because I asked you to. And not only that, you stuck around. You didn't have to do that. And you came all the way down here, so I didn't have to go through this surgery alone. Yeah, that doesn't make me a saint. No, but it makes you better than your mother. At least you have a heart. You prove it? Yeah, actually I can. I know you have a heart because Aubrey broke him. I'm sorry, Rama. I have to go. I will talk to you when I get back into town, okay? Wait! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, it's fine. We were done. Uh, there was nothing. Rama just called to say hi. You okay? Yeah, fine. Great. Just gonna take a shower and let you get dressed in private. Just so you know, the water's like ice. Great. Couldn't be cold enough for me. Good morning. Hi. Hey. Does anyone sit at this desk? Uh, yeah, that's Becca's. Who's Becca? You're new here, aren't you? It's my first date. So what about this Becca person? She's not really a person, more like a queen, you know, surrounded by all of her loyal subjects. So no one else can sit on this side of the room? Especially not a hot new girl. I'm Nila, tell. Shay Marasco, welcome to LHS. Living hell savagery. Is it that bad? Bad enough that if you get caught talking to me, you won't make any other friends here. Oh, I already have a friend. Maybe you know him, Jack Manning? Jack Manning's your friend? Seriously? What's wrong? Everything? I, I know he's a bit different than everyone else. He's complicated. But I think he's a good person. A good person? There's no way we're talking about the same guy. Why? Because Jack Manning murdered my mother. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Where'd you go? I went shopping for our next doctor's visit. That receptionist is going to be gunning for us. Right, which is why I got this. Right. Okay. Hey? Uh -huh. Is anybody going to recognize me? No. Oh, yeah. All right, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, are you going to laugh? Are you going to help me out? Oh, I'll try. Oh, my gosh, you weren't kidding. Here, wait, let me... Got it? Yeah. Hey. When you decided to come down here with me, you said you wanted to change too. And I think it's already happening. Why? Because I didn't kill my mother when I got the chance? You're trying to become the man you want to be. I don't know if that's in the card, Stace. Are you kidding me? You're halfway there. Well, if I do end up going the distance, it'll be because of you. Pardon you and John, can I get a 